what's the joke? You know, life is a terminal condition. We're all going to die, and medicine seems to be part of, of that engagement. Um, but with the pace of change in medical technology that really started in the 1960s and 70s, medicine began to be able to do things and, and did them to the point that many people, patients, families, even physicians themselves begin to ask, is that really what we want to do? Is it really what we should do? And, and hence was born sort of the modern incarnation of medical ethics in the 1970s, which, which was asked and, and responded to, how should we think about these things? And we're talking now, I think healthcare is about 18% of gross domestic, gross domestic product. And they're projecting in the next couple of years that it'll pass 20%. So one out of every $5 gets spent on medical health care. Education gets about 5.5%. And as a society, where's our future? And as I said, the, earlier, the 20%, 18, 20% of gross domestic product going to health care is not necessarily to the efficient kind of health care. It's, it's the organ transplants and the end-of-life intensive care that, that soak up lots of those dollars for very little benefit to you or the public. I'd like to see more of a public discussion. What will make that happen, or what could make that happen? Well, um, I hate to sound grim. Perhaps when people look around and healthcare is 20, 22% of what they spend, and their lives aren't getting lots better. Maybe we will finally ask for a, a more productive, a truly deliberative discussion.